Dwayne J. King, who does my taxes, my uncle, he's awesome. No, no more, what is my position on the philosophy of time? That's going to be a, a video question. Um, David Randall Curtis, do I have a favorite film director? Uh, no, not really. Um, I mean, Scorsese's good. There's people I recognize are good. I, I know Uncle Bass sucks. Um, but there's no one I really, you know, it's not like anyone who makes a movie. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to see that because it's from that director. Uh, UNFF Wildcard, again, do I secretly psychoanalyze everyone I meet on YouTube? Why are you asking me that, Wildcard? Um, I psychoanalyze everyone unsecretly. I don't know what you're talking about. You should, haven't you been in Stick'em? I do, I do that all the time. It's what I, it's just like a reflex for me. It's not secret. Sushiyama 1, if you had to rate Obama so far in his presidency, A through F, none of the above. I'd rate him an I. I don't think there's enough information yet. Um, I, it depends on what his strategy is. I'm disappointed with some of the things he's done, but it's possible that he's doing them, uh, that he hasn't done them yet, or he's done things the way they have because he doesn't want to screw up his chances to get, get health care put through, and he'll change things later because they're a little bit less important. If that's the case, then um, he'll get an A. Otherwise, he'll get an F. I, I think right now his grade's an incomplete. Uh, Frisbees and Flip Flops doesn't ask a question, but um, I would just like to mention she promised she would come in to Blog TV and discuss tits. What happened with that, Nikki? You came in for like a half a second, then you left. We, uh, we, we did not get to discuss tits. What's up with that? Um, let's see. NLPNVC, in uh, what philosophy most accurately expresses the principles I value most? It's going to be a video question, sorry. Uh, let's see. Um, Pete Matrix, the bottles on the shelf behind me are my bourbon bottles. You can, I already sent you the video about that. What is my view on higher education? I have a pretty high view of higher education, uh, Pink Floyd, Droid 88. Um, I think that college is definitely important, but not necessarily so much academically. You're going to learn most of the stuff, I think, uh, in just your core curriculums, and the rest of them are kind of just filler uh, a lot of times. Um, I think that the main thing about regular college, undergrad college, is to learn how to be on your own, and um, it's kind of like it's a good transition. I think the experience is more important than the academics in that case. But that's just my opinion. Sam Noble eighty nine pie or cake? Well, the cake is a lie, but then again, um, frisbees and flip flops. Nikki gave an excellent case for cake, so um, I'm going to have to go with cake. Um, PokeKid79, oh, never mind, uh, uh, let's see, his manifest, I would like to hear your life passions, um, things that make your time stop and revel completely in the moment. I did a video on that earlier, about Boss Man tagged me, um, I forget what it was called now, but basically just experiencing new things, and when I never, or, or experiencing quality. The reason I like bourbon so much is that I'm tasting not just the, the eight years, uh, or the nine years of care that was put into um, making that bottle, but also the hundred years of tradition before that. So to taste that sort of effort um, and experience that is really just amazing. Um, hanging out with my girlfriend, you know, that, that sort of thing, just appreciating life in general. I'm sorry if that's a vague answer, but that's the best I got. <coughs> um, Definition is gone. What is my stance on legalization of all drugs? I know I'm definitely in favor of the legalization of marijuana. That, sorry, it really is, um, there really is no benefit to that. I've heard good arguments for the legalization of all drugs. Really don't know how I feel about heroin being made available at CVS, but yeah. Uh, Joe Kidder, uh, what animals do you consider it ethical to eat? The tasty ones. Sorry if you're vegetarian out there. I am, I am, I am a meat eater. Um, uh, he also asked, is how they're treated effective? It should be. It probably isn't for me as much as it should be. I try to get organic and free range whenever I can. Um, but really, if uh, if they are treated, if they're not tortured <laughs> to death, um, if they're treated well, I think any, and they're not endangered, I think any animal should be relatively okay to eat. Um, I, I, I guarantee you they probably would have no reservations about doing the same to us. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Raider Joe 76, what would it take to convince me that the Christian God exists? Um, there's a lot of different things. Um, if prayer studies showed any sort of, um, showed any sort of, um, you know, benefit, 
maybe, maybe I'll list a couple of these things. One by itself might not do it, but if it was, if, if the world just seemed to be actually, from my perspective, fit in with the God scenario more, then I probably would believe. Uh, but the easiest thing to do would be just to show up. Um, and there's another question on that later. Uh, two, do I believe in objective moral standards? I believe there is an objective morality, but we can only understand it subjectively. So, yeah. At, at the very at the very least, you're going to have the basis of morality is going always going to be subjective. So, um, I don't know if... There, 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 there is a certain little bit of objectivity in it, but for the most part, since the basis is going to be subjective, it's really pointless to discuss whether or not it's the, the entirety of it could ever be considered, or any one thing could be considered completely objective. Okay. Uh, Deus Mortem EST, what is my view on postmodern philosophy in general? That's going to be a video question, remind me. Um, Berger 91, or Brager 91, how could God, if he exists, did exist, prove that he was actually God? Um, well, you really, he couldn't prove that he was God rather than, uh, an alien. Uh, he could maybe take us back in time to show us how he created us. That would do it, because even if he's an alien, I, mean, I guess he could still be considered God of us since he created us. Um, but even if, even if, um, he is just an alien and he's pretending to be, um, God, uh, if he's still just hanging out around Earth and can move mountains at, at his will and hasn't died for 5,000 years and just keeps hanging out, no one can, you know, do anything against him, he at least des probably deserves worship because he's definitely higher up than we are, um, by, by far. Um, my jizz here, I, <laughs> um, why haven't I blocked you and deleted your comments? I've tried on several occasions, um... Well, like you said and later on in the comment, I'm a very strong advocate of free speech, and um, you've made fun of me for having a bit of a receding hairline, but I do. So um, I really don't get offended when people point out something that's true. Honest discussioner. Check the name, bitch. Um, Crusher Pawns, what's my first name? Uh, that'd be fuck you. Yep, actually, uh, it's really weird having that uh, as a first name. Uh, believe me, I get a lot of eye rolls. No, uh, anyway, he was kidding anyway. Bossman103, finally, we'll end it with his questions here. Um, what films would I say are my favorite? I really like the Matrix uh, uh, trilogy, all three of them. Sorry, I know no one else liked the other two, but uh, I, I'm, I'm really into action movies. I enjoy comedies, but I can watch action movies over and over again. Um, so, yeah. Do I empathize with believers? Yes, I do. I was one for a time. I understand where they're coming from and why they would want to believe in this sort of thing. And uh, here I am telling them I'm, I'm taking away their candy bar, basically. So I, I empathize, but I'm an advocate for truth. So I, I think everyone should um, follow what is actually true, not what they want to be true. Maybe I'm wrong uh, in the whole God thing, but that's why I want to have a discussion about it, because I think that's the best way to get to truth. Have I ever picketed anything? Besides my nose? No. Um, what is my view of porn? Usually on the computer screen or the TV. Uh, no. Uh, I've heard people say that porn is degrading towards women. I don't really buy that, um, so much. It can be, um, but really it, you're, you're never going to, you can't really ban porn. You could try, but it's not going to, it's not going to work. Um, and... Uh, I, I think actually it can even be more so disrespectful towards uh, men, if anything, because it's always, in, in the videos, it's always focusing on uh, the girl, and you can have any guy, you know, in there. He's interchangeable. Now, do I really think it's disrespectful towards guys? No. But that same argument that I just used, it was used by certain um, feminists that disagree with uh, with the uh, uh, music videos that the videos were promoting that women could be interchangeable and it didn't matter who they were. So that's the thing. I'm actually a feminist. I'm like a power feminist. I think women should, you know, the whole girl power sort of, sort of thing I think is really good. I think that I, I'm for female male equality. Uh, but I do think there are some feminists that go a little too far on certain things. Um, but again, I'm for equality between men and women. I do wish there was more uh, pornography that was set for the female audience as well, but unfortunately, uh, most of it isn't. Um, if any women are willing to make a porno, uh, porno uh, for uh, the female audience, uh, I'd be willing to discuss that with you. <laughs> um, 
Uh, anyway, why did I uh, choose to show my face when I hit it for the first few videos? Uh, good question, awesome man. Um, basically, uh, I was originally going to teach elementary education, and it would be really bad uh, for my career if I was an out-of-the-closet atheist on YouTube. Um, so I really, but I still wanted to speak my mind. Uh, I, that fell through. You can check out my Catholic experience videos um, if you want to find out how great that hat went. But um, once that was over, Agnostic Man 77 um, stopped showing his face and deleted his videos. And uh, he, he had a good reason to, and there's a lot of atheists that don't show their face for good reason. Um, but I realized that I had the ability to show my face, and I had the ability to get out there and, and you know, further the discussion and, and get other people to join in as well. So that's why. Sorry for the long videos, guys, but you ask the questions, I answer them. Have a nice day. Honest Discussioner, out.